And this was a tight fit between these two houses. With my trailer just cleared. Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, evening when you watch us. Uh, today is going to be another install. Morning, Tyler. We're uh, swapping out a very old train furnace with a Concord. Uh, I'm done with uh, Goodman's for a while, at least the 40,000s, because, yeah, they're just being a pain. My son is a hard worker, and I'm really proud of him. He's uh, been helping Dad out for since about all September, and uh, he saves me a lot of, lot of anguish. <laughs> so thank you, Tyler. Okay. This is going to be fun. Ugh. Man, I'm hoping that water heater fits through here. Ugh. Man, we're like 20, 23 inches. So, yeah. This is getting replaced with a power vent water heater. She's a, a little crusty. And then replace, replacing this very old train executive high efficiency, which I don't think it's high efficiency. Uh, back in the day it might have been, but this is getting replaced. Um, we may or may not replace this return air. Let me know in the... Th the feedback section if you guys have seen these old return air boxes or if this is just something around here I mean I'm sure it was everywhere's um, yeah, it's still running but I gotta shut that off but yeah um, I'm thinking about replacing that I just don't know if I have enough room I should have um, room between that chimney and that so yeah enjoy and uh you know what to do if you guys like this content please uh subscribe i really appreciate the all the support so we had to take this door off um we are 22 and three quarters from edge to edge doorway and uh, we're, we are tight, just like the Amish, good and tight. We are 21 and a half inches from there to there. It's a tight one. So we're going to have to probably take our pack out apart, bring that down in pieces. And the water heater is going to be fun. There's a reason why I chose this water heater is because it's got go handles. Actually, not really. It's because my grandpappy and my father was had a great great a lot of great ideas and that passed on to me so we can't do a dolly um dolly down the stairs so we have to manhandle this water heater which isn't bad but it's it's there's nothing to grab onto so i put these two six inch uh nipples and three quarter inch by half reducers on there and that'll that those are actually my handles so here we go 
All right. You want top or bottom because you gotta lift it up, can't slide it down. Okay. Oh, great times. That's all right. That's a so smaller. I'm not concerned with that. All right. No. <laughs> Baby steps. Hold on, let me switch the go handle here. Okay, careful, easy. All right, easy, easy. A little bit more. Okay, set it right over here. Oh. Four hours later. All right, Tyler's shutting the, finding the breaker for the electric. Shut the gas off. We got everything down here finally. Oh man, we had to disassemble the pack out, which completely sucked, but it is what it is. Like I said, we're gonna be putting in this Concord, which is made by Allied Air. Um, same thing as an Armstrong, it just, this is a luminized, Heat aluminized steel instead of stainless steel. The prime or the secondary stainless, but not the primary. Um, like I said, I'm gonna probably start putting these in just for the 40, 40,000, 45,000 range. This is a 45,000 single stage. So, all right, let's get to work. Right, Tyler? All right, about 14 hours and 32 seconds ago, we finally got it out. Um, so yeah, I did decide to take this off just to save them on filters because this takes two filters and I'm gonna do one filter in the slide. And luckily I bought a pad, um, 30 by 30 air conditioning pad. I'm gonna mount on there, set the furnace on just because it's kind of uneven.
Not that difficult. Just leaving an inch and. on your own you're gonna you're gonna have to do this stuff I mean I'm not gonna be there to do yeah. it and stuff with you so you need to figure it out you know where's the drill I need to grab it. Some mess lock. Okay. Right now, one or two. Bring down two. It come with that. Dude, I need S lock because it didn't come with enough. I think what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this is too close to the furnace. Um, I'm going to take this off, spin it around so it kicks this over, and that'll be able to do our return. I may have to still cut that elbow down a little bit to bring it in, but um, yeah, I'm going to take this, spin this around. So let me bring it in closer. Um, so I sp spun this around. It's going to be straight side here, straight back. That'll work out good. And they still got room to get their filter out. And then it's going to be, I'm going to have an offset here from this point to this point. It's going to be an inch and a half over this way. Uh, it's going to be straight front though. Um, I'll probably make this in two pieces. I'll probably bring this down and then make the transition from this point on. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's set and ready to go. So I have a feeling I'm gonna go make the metal and uh, Tyler's gonna work on the gas and electric, right? Yep. You look happy. He's tired, he's 19, he's in love. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the metal trailer. Um, just laying out my metal. This is going to be that top piece on the plenum, supply plenum. There's my back, my front, my left, and then my right. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing my offset here, so I don't got to do it in my transition down below. Um, so yeah, just giving you some shots here and uh, the progress here. Well, I have an update. I uh, screwed up. Yep, I forgot to. So the top of my plenum, you can read my, if you can understand that. So the top was 16 and a half by 16 and a half, and he's got the ears on it for the drive. Um, when I do my metal, I go off the bottom or the biggest size and add my two inches. And, well, I forgot to take my measurement up here, and I just went ahead and did my thing, and I couldn't have, yeah, I could not have used this because I would have lost my inch if I would have cut this off and retraced, so I had to redo it. So, there it is. Um, I just got to cross break it, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. I mean, I, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> obviously but um yeah it's still going good though i'm right on track uh, i should be done here 
Oh, it's about uh, 20 minutes to noon, so I'd like to get this metal done before lunch, and so far, so good. All right, Tyler's finishing up the electrical. I got the supply done. He's going to work on the return airdrop once he gets that done. I'm going to start working on vents. Metal turned out okay. I uh, made a goof. I forgot to add my inch for my hem, so I was short. So I just um, did the right thing and made an adapter. And still, I gotta, I gotta get some more tape. I'm out of tape, but uh, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna be running the vents out at. I'm getting ready to go outside and take a look. And um, I think this insulation's got to come down, and then we'll run it down, and then to that point. So let's get to work. All right. Um, this this feels like a monkey f in a football or a goat rodeo. I think it came with the car. Wait! The Trunk Monkey Chaperone. I got my holes hogged. I'm going to bring my concentric for my furnace there. My water heater's going there. But next door is a house that's maybe not even eight feet away. Um, and I can't get my pipe down the stairs so i'm gonna have to somewhat measure it <laughs> measure it down here and then run it through outside because uh, yeah this is just sweet but we'll get it done we'll get it done all right everyone it's uh it's six o'clock we started at eight this morning and uh it's been a day we got the vents done, metal turned out good. Tyler did the transition on that. We still gotta tape everything up yet. We'll do that tomorrow. And um, got the vents all done finally, except for the water heater vent, but that's all done. Uh, yeah, it's time, Tyler's tired, I'm tired. So tomorrow we're doing the water heater, which is right there. And then, um, We'll get that all up and it'll be a day. So see you in the morning. Good morning it's the next day got tyler hitting the tape on the furnace joints morning tyler Good morning. and we're getting ready to drain this uh this water heater down and install that one stay tuned let me bring in a little closer here um as you can see it's toast we got some thing was not venting at all um, the vent was rolling out here and here it was been venting it's been rolling out vent for a long time so yep this is why we're going with that AOL Smith power vent and vent that right outside
if you want to pull that nipple out, hook that back up. You need go juice. Huh? You need go juice. Yeah, you need some coffee. Helps you. Hmm? Huh? Oh, this will come down a pitch. Corrosion or pipe dope? Pipe dope, it's all right. Here, let's just here. Here, here, just tweak that a little bit and. Dope. Let me bring it in a little closer. So with these, I always wrap at wrap with uh, blue monster, blue monster pipe thread tape. Usually wrap it about five to six times around each side, and then I run a little bit of pro dope inside my. Just a little bit inside the threads. Vega Pro Press. Everything that I use is Vega. Uh, so much easier. I don't. I don't sweat no more. Just a little bit. Guaranteed no leaks. I guarantee. Before you get too crazy, I might have to do that. Tweak that. Not bad. All right, I need to be able to work with that. Oh, let's see where my bags are. There. Oh, I didn't touch none of that.
grab my level, will you? Just want to make sure before we get too crazy here. I want to make sure everything's. Yep, we're good. Um, grab the. Where'd that drip light go to? So need to cut it a little bit. Yeah, cut it about right there okay. with the saw. With the saw, it's right there behind you. Uh, hold the other end. Get up. Get up. You just cut it like that. Cut it straight. And like Flynn, just go ahead and tighten it up, put it in there. Don't dope it, it's already got some tape on it. Just go ahead and throw it in. I mean, if it was constantly wa running water through it, yeah, you need to really dope it, but it's just for relief, pressure relief. 150 PSI, and I believe 212, 220 temperature. That's good. You ain't gotta take it downtown. Uh, yeah. Man, the whole world just heard you. I know. It hurts. Do man, I gotta cut this pipe yet. Right. Yeah, I got an inch for that. Yeah, I got an inch. 
Uh, they're both the same. Take the Scotch Brite and clean the ends up. Uh, it's either up here in the in the pack out there over there. It's around there somewhere. Yep. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's new, so you really don't need to. Yeah, hang that one out. Okay, that's good. This is a, this one don't have no stop on it. I wonder why that thing was going to China. Actually, that probably wouldn't work for me because, bring that one back. It's just hold on, hold on. Let's gotta get everything situated before you. what it is. Go ahead and uh, ready? Yeah, press it. Keep it square. Still gotta fill it up there. We gotta vent it. Uh, for now, we're gonna run an extension cord, and then electrician's gonna come back and wear out the plug. I got an extension for it right there.
Okay. So what is that? Oh, uh, you want to? Oh, we got to cut the pipe as we bring it in. We can't fit it down the stairway. Two inch. Two inch. Um, oh. I'm going to go ahead and kick that off and the one upstairs. Do the one upstairs first. piece down here still? Of course there is. Uh, why don't you go up and grab a, a clean out? And clean out, I think. Yeah, I think that's a four and the back one's a five. Second. Yeah, grab a piece. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Five inches. Huh? Oh, Shelby and Bella? Not really. Hopefully you can push my button so I can put them in its place. Then Shelby will get mad at me. Take the hose, drain it out, and take all that and put it out in the truck. Uh, needs to be probably be drained. Oh. 
I should make a little bit more pitch for that. better. Hey, no. Sure that's got some pitch. Oh. Oh. Got tons of pitch. Do me a favor real quick. Come here and hold this thing like that. Hold that like about right there. Got it? Mm -hmm. I'll bring it this way. The whole thing all tight. A little bit more. Center three. A little bit more. Got to be at the center. That's got to be at three. A little bit more. Oh, right there. All right. So. So it gives me some pitch. Oh, I'm sure you can. Okay. There you go. Carry on. Carry on. Carry words, son.
hammer time? I need a hammer. Hammer? It's probably. Yeah, it's probably in there. All right, here's my vents. Uh, obviously water heater, furnace. If you guys are asking what this is, it's called an accelerator on these Concord or Allied Airs. When you use a concentric, you have to use this accelerator on there, otherwise it'll give you some pressure switch issues. So I try to stock up on those. So everything's all sealed, ready to go. All right, we're uh, pretty much wrapped up. Tyler's putting stuff back in the trailer, cleaning up. Uh, gonna bring you along and doing some testing, uh, commissioning the commissioning this uh, brand new Concord. Got my test po probes. Got my field piece manometers. We're gonna do. Um, yeah, we're gonna set this thing up. Gonna check gas pressures. I had this running last night and uh, didn't get a chance to dial it in, so I'm going to dial it in now. Alright, not bad, not bad, right out of the box. I'll dial them gas pressures down a wee bit. Three point three is due to this vacuum. Um, numbers are looking good. Static pressure is good. Man, this is right out of the box. Right out of the box. Yeah. We're good. I'll let this thing run and uh, see what that comes in at. Yeah, our numbers are really good, really good. And then same thing, I'll uh, take all this information and put it in my company cam app. Um, all the documentation that I'm doing here, and that way I have it. All right. While this is finishing up, I'll uh, walk you through. There's our water heater. And I did do the condensate drain with the nice little trap. 
And that goes, travels down into the Conise pump. I know you guys are saying, what about the trap? Well, it's there. So, hush. You guys, there's a lot of trolls out there. And I'll, uh, I blocked a lot of you guys. You guys are talking, but nobody's hearing you. You guys got, uh, you guys, yeah, you guys are something else. But, uh, electrician's coming sometime to run a circuit from the panel up here somewhere. So, for the time being, it's got an extension cord. Metal turned out good. Um, Tyler finished taping this morning. Everything looks good. Got a little squirrely here, but it's all right. Tyler made his transition here. That turned out pretty good. So yeah, everything everything worked out well in this job. It was a struggle. I'm not kidding you. Especially with the stairway, we still got to take the water heater up and and put the handrail and stuff back up. But it was a struggle, boss. But we got it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Concord. It's a good piece of equipment. You guys out there, let me know what you guys think about them. I know you guys are using them out there, so um, but yeah, let me know. Bleep bloop them down in the comment section, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.